Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the entrance of the official party and remain standing for the invocation of our national anthem in honor for our guest of honor, General Eric M. Smith, United States Marine Corps, Commandant of the Marine Corps. God, on this happy day of our commencement, we thank you for the investment that has been made by our students, faculty, and staff in scholarship and the profession of arms. For most, the past year represents a culmination of many years of hard work. We also give thanks for the great investment made by spouses and families traveling far from home and from loved ones to share in this experience. Now we ask that this investment would yield a wonderful return, not just by the master's degrees being awarded, but by the education that has been received, the friendships that have been made, and the cultural life that has been enriched. As our graduates now test their knowledge in the operational world, as they continue to mature in staff or command positions, grant that their time spent here on the banks of the Potomac may continue to sustain them for years to come. May their time here yield dividends for the Marine Corps, our sister services, and our international partners. Guide and protect the class of 2024 and help them carry Marine Corps universities spirit of excellence, wherever they are called upon to lead and to serve. We ask this for your name's sake. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, the National Anthem of the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, honors to General Eric M. Smith, Commandant of the Marine Corps. Dr. Gordon Rudd, Dean, School of Advanced Warfighting. Colonel Andrew Winthrop, Director, Commanding Staff College. Dr. Jonathan Phillips, Dean, Commanding Staff College. 
Mr. Terrence Kerrigan, and Dir Director, College of Distance Education and Training. Mr. Scott Erdelatz, Dean, College of Distance Education and Training. Good morning and welcome to the Marine Corps University commencement in which our class of 2024 students from the Marine Corps War College, School of Advanced Warfighting, the Command and Staff College, and College of Distance Education and Training graduate from their professional military education program and Marine Corps University's three master's degrees are conferred upon eligible candidates. Ladies and gentlemen, the Commanding General, Education Command, and President, Marine Corps University, Brigadier General Maura M. Hennigan, United States Marine Corps. Well, I've been told it's always good when we start with applause because we've got nowhere but up to go, right? All right, with that, distinguished guests, faculty, all of our Board of Visitors that either are here or online, graduating students, and many of the families that are here today, thank you so much for joining us and welcome to Marine Corps University's academic year 2023-2024 commencement. We're very excited for you to be here today, and we truly thank you for all of the hard work that you have put forward to get here today, as well as throughout the entire year. Now, I know the bags are packed, the cars are likely positioned well in the parking lot, and I suspect there might be a few wagers on who gets out of here first, but hold fast. I promise we'll get through this. I would like to recognize a few of our distinguished guests here with us today. The Assistant Secretary for the Navy, Energy Installations and Environment, the Honorable Meredith Berger. TCOM Commanding General, General Kevin Imes. Marine Corps Heritage Foundation, President and Chief Executive Officer, General Jim Blinkman. Marine Corps University Foundation, President and Chief Executive Officer, Andy Ammerman as well as our many distinguished attaches from the embassies in Washington, D.C. Welcome. Now, no ceremony would be complete without the band, so I'm going to ask the audience for a quick round of applause for our band here today, an amazing talent that we cherish at every ceremony. Today, we celebrate the culmination of a year's hard work, dedication, and perseverance. It's time to reflect on accomplishments of our graduates and the honor of their achievements as they embark on the next chapter of their lives and careers. This ceremony marks not only the end of an academic journey, but the continuation of the Marines' development as leaders of tomorrow. <laughs> To our international students, dedicated, your dedicated hard work and exceptional performance throughout this year have been an inspiration to us all. Your unique contributions have elevated the educational journey for every student, allowing us to build bridges of friendship and, as we look forward, cultivating a lasting, lifelong, lifelong relationship, making a positive impact across the world. To our sister services and our interagency students, I'd also like to thank you for your contributions to our understanding of the joint and interagency operations. Those will be necessary to confront complex problems and exploit emerging opportunities in the future. I trust that you will leave here not only with an education, but a dictionary to interpret Marines wherever you may encounter them in the future. To our faculty, your efforts to teach and mentor. Inspired students as they depart Marine Corps University today better prepared to think critically, anticipate challenge, and adapt to an uncertain and chaotic future. Thank you for your dedicated service and your commitment to excellence. This year, we lost an icon to the university. General Al Gray, founder of Marine Corps University in 1989, was instrumental in transforming Marine Corps University 
into a premier professional military education institution. General Gray believed that strengthening the core, the brain power through education for developing skilled tacticians and strategic thinkers. He transformed the educational program, bringing in civilian scholars with PhDs, revamping the curriculum to emphasize warfighting theory and military history, and setting the goal offering graduate level degrees. He saw professional military education as vital for preparing Marines to meet future challenges and maintaining the Corps' readiness and versatility. You students are a product of that legacy. Semper Fidelis, Al Gray. It is now my privilege and honor to introduce our guest of honor for this year's graduation ceremony. Please join me in welcoming the 39th Commandant of the Marine Corps, General Eric M. Smith. Well, good morning. That was a rhetorical. Good morning. Good morning. There we go. Um, it, is, it is truly good to be here today to recognize our students and their families. And for the families, we know that uh, there's a saying, if you, if you walk down the road and you see a turtle sitting on a fence post, okay, a turtle sitting on top of a fence post, what's the one thing you know about the turtle? He didn't get there by himself, right? So to all the families who enabled your turtle to get up on a fence post, <laughs> We're grateful to you because we know that you've, you've given quite a bit. You've given of your weekends, you've given of your evenings, but hopefully it's been a good experience for you in the familial sense and, and all the, the camaraderie that's associated with living on base, that's associated with um, being part of your small group. Hopefully that uh, resonates with you and hopefully the families enjoyed that. Because I know that, uh, that I did when I was a student here. So for the graduates, friends, family, distinguished guests, today is a great day. And it's significant for two reasons. First, we get to celebrate the accomplishments of all of our students following a year of very hard work. And second, this ceremony is the only thing that is standing between most of us in this room and a PCS move or a well-earned leave. And uh, I'll try to be brief because I know that uh, your cars are already out in the parking lot running. So uh, we're fortunate to be joined today by Secretary Berger, Assistant Inspector General Michael Mendoza, and a number of attaches from our key allies and partners. So thank you for being here to witness your students going across the stage. And it is, it is they who make this place unique because it is our international partners who truly add the spice of life that makes this place what it is. To all the family in attendance, thank you on behalf of your Marines. Thank you. This year wasn't designed as a breather, and in between the reading, writing, and researching, I know that time can come at a premium. The support you gave to your graduates is why they continue to be successful. I hope that despite all the work, you had the opportunity to get some quality family time, and I hope you had an opportunity to travel and visit parts of the United States for international partners. To the professors and staff of our colleges, thank you. You are the reason that these officers have been molded and they've broadened their scope. You've been diligent, you've been tough on them, and it's going to pay off in big dividends as we look for a more peaceful future as allied nations and partners. But the education that you provided is critical to the success of the Marine Corps. And we get better Marines on the back end because they spent a year with you. So to the faculty, thank you. I'd also like to thank the officers from the Joint Forces, as well as members of our allied and partner services and the interagency. Thank you for spending a year with our service and for sharing your perspectives and experiences. Hopefully you got something valuable in return. 
Marines don't fight alone. And you shouldn't be surprised when you run into a classmate somewhere very far from Quantico, putting into practice the things they've learned here. In fact, I need you to make an effort to maintain and use the connections that you've made here, because these relationships have never been more important in the global future that is, that is ours. Last week, I was in France commemorating the 106th anniversary of Bella Wood, and in Florence, where I laid a wreath in memory of those who died in the Italian campaign of World War II. I was proud to join military leaders from France, Germany, and Italy in solemn remembrance of our actions on the battlefields of Europe. And similarly, tomorrow, leaders from around the globe will meet again in France to mark the 80th anniversary of the Allied landings on the beaches of Normandy. Both occasions, celebrating Allied victories in two world wars, have a more somber quality this year as we remain in the shadow of war on the European continent. The illegal and unethical war waged by Russia shows no signs of waning, and the devastating toll on Ukraine continues to mount. Victory or defeat both carry strategic challenges that will test Europe for many years to come. But the one point of light in the midst of this brutal conflict is the strength of the NATO alliance. It has never been stronger. Other nations who might also <laughs> seek similar acts of aggression <clears throat> expected the alliance to fracture or fail, and it did not, it only grew stronger. NATO united, it grew stronger, it added new members in Sweden and Finland, and it recommitted itself to the common defense of democracy. And that common spirit, the dedication to freedom of all nations, big or small, is not confined to Europe. Our network of allies and partners sets us apart, as witnessed by our international students here today. And it continues to grow and strengthen in every theater in the face of Russia, China, Iran, North Korea, and all those that seek to undermine the freedom and prosperity of democratic nations. I'd like to again thank our international students for spending a year on American soil and contributing their time and ideas so that we can all benefit from them. You're truly the best that your nation has to offer, and we've been lucky to have you for this last year. So to the international students, a round of applause. meetings with the leaders of your armed forces, there's one common request, more seats at Marine Corps University for their students. Because this room, these schools, are where alliances and partnerships evolve into friendships. It's where we build relationships, the relationships that withstand the test of time, or even the trials of combat. Thank you for the value that you bring to the education of our Marines. Today is a good day for all our graduates, but it's a great day for me. Because today is the day that you take those lessons, those relationships, and the experiences you gain here and bring it back to the fleet, to your respective services, agencies, or nations. Don't let what you've learned here stay here. Take it with you when you leave. The joint and combined forces need good ideas to tackle tough problems, from kill webs and contested logistics to training and talent management. We didn't just send you here to make you smarter. We sent you here so that you can help make the people you lead smarter. We need creative solutions now more than ever as we balance the campaigning and crisis response requirements of today with the modernization required to fight tomorrow. As leaders, commanders, and planners, you need to keep one eye on the current fight, the acute challenges of today, and one eye on the pacing challenge, and that's the PRC. We must modernize for the basic threat and be ready for the acute ones. But we can't expect the world to give us a breather or to sequester ourselves from current events so that we can take a knee and modernize. We are expeditionary by nature and we must continue to meet the obligations that come with leading America's 911 force. That means maintaining a high state of readiness. It means campaigning to deter our adversaries and responding to regional crises wherever they occur. It means consistent deployments of our Marine Expeditionary Units so that Americans can count on their Marines to be first to fight if called. But at the same time, we must embrace and implement the technologies and concepts at speed that will allow us to win the peer fight. We must carry out the righteous vision of force design and update it as we go through experimentation in our campaign of learning. 
The investments we have made over the last five years are bearing fruit, and the fleets that you're returning to need the ideas that you're bringing with you after graduation. I need you to continue to refine our concepts and the employment of our modernized capabilities and feed your findings back into the system to make it better. Long-range missile batteries, the medium-range intercept capability, MRIC, our data radars, organic precision fires, OPFM, <coughs> OPFI, um, and even the new kit on individual Marines. They'll be there in the fleet waiting for you. We're fielding them as we speak, and you'll need to experiment and learn how to use them best. But no platform, no matter how modernized, is a substitute for new ideas. We have to maintain momentum behind force design because I'm a firm believer that our core assumptions are correct. The most important reason we can't take our foot off the gas is that force design, at its heart, stripping away the platforms and equipment, is the desire to adapt. It's the acknowledgement that we must continually do everything in our power to prepare for the next fight, not the last one. It starts with how we train and educate our Marines. In the next few weeks, we'll roll out our training and education annual report, highlighting our work in this critical aspect of force design. It is the perfect example of that despite being five years into this journey, we must continue at speed. Our adversaries are not slowing down, and the biggest thing that sets us apart are the people in this room. The most important domain we must build advantage in is the domain of ideas. And you're the ones who are going to get us there. The good news is what I know is that I know you're ready. In my experience, whether it is command and staff, make like war or saw, you often don't fully appreciate this year until you're long gone from here and you've walked out of these doors. But I'm confident that this education and this experience is something that you'll be able to fall back on in the many years ahead of you. And no matter where you go next, don't rest. This year was solely to prepare you for what comes next. Some of you will go right back to the fleet, some to planning tours or to the Pentagon. God help you. <laughs> some of you will be leading battalions or squadrons after you leave here. But all of you will be moving on, backed up by everyone you shared these classrooms with. Use the connections you've made here to help you when you're stuck. Call each other, call your instructors, keep in touch. Odds are, they have dealt with the same challenges that you're trying to overcome. Thank you for inviting me to speak to you today. And thank you for giving me your best while you were here. I'm proud of you and look forward to everything that you'll accomplish next. And to the families, thank you for all that you did to support your loved one as they went through this year and they made themselves better. I hope it was as rewarding an experience for you as it was for the faculty and staff as they taught you and instructed you. And again, please maintain contact with each other. I know you've got your phone trees and you'll, there'll be some of you who will spam your emails um, and, and you know, you'll be the, the spring butt um, who will constantly email your, your small group. But maintain those contacts. I still maintain mine from the Army Command of Staff College with a guy named Alejandro Claris Pucarito in Venezuela. Um, even though our nations are, are at odds, our personal friendship overrides that. And he was, uh, he was my classmate, I was his sponsor, and then I received orders to Venezuela after that, and he became my sponsor. So the world revolves. So please maintain contact with each other. Congratulations to all of you. It's a pleasure, pleasure to be here today, and I'm grateful for all your service. Hooray. Thank you, General Smith. Faculty, please rise. Ladies and gentlemen, we are very proud to present the academic year 2023-2024 faculty of the Marine Corps War College, the School of Advanced Warfighting, the Command and Staff College, the College of Distance Education and Training, and Marine Corps University. Please be seated. 
Ladies and gentlemen, degree candidates will be presented by Dr. Rebecca Johnson, Marine Corps University Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs. It's time. <laughs> Marine Corps University is authorized by the Congress of the United States and accredited by the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools Commission on Colleges to award three master's degrees. Will the candidates for the degree of Master of Strategic Studies please rise and remain standing? Will the candidates for the degree of Master of Operational Studies please rise and remain standing? And will the candidates for the degree of Master of Military Studies please rise and remain standing? Brigadier Jeremy Hennigan, these candidates have met all the requirements for their respective degrees, and I present them to you with pleasure. Please, they're not there yet. With the recommendation of the faculty, the academic deeds of the respective schools, the provost, and the authority vested in me by the Congress of the United States, I confer upon each of our degree candidates the recommended master's degrees with all the privileges and responsibilities thereunto pertaining. Okay, now. We will now present diplomas by school. Ladies and gentlemen, please hold your applause until the last graduate of each school receives their diploma. If you wish to take photographs, please feel free to step forward and do so. You may be seated. Congratulations. <laughs> the Marine Corps War College is directed by Colonel Brian Sharp. It provides the Marine Corps senior level professional military education and the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff Joint Professional Military Education Phase 2 program. Eligible graduates also receive the Marine Corps University's Master of Strategic Studies degree. The students for academic year 2024 are Colonel Faisal Almud, United Arab Emirates, Presidential Guard. Lieutenant Colonel Christopher Ashenhurst, United States Marine Corps. Lieutenant Colonel John Collins, United States Army. Lieutenant Colonel Brandon Cooley, United States Marine Corps. Lieutenant Colonel Colin Culkin, United States Marine Corps. Lieutenant Colonel Armando Davu, United States Marine Corps. Lieutenant Colonel Derek DeBello, United States Army. Captain Michael DePace, United States Coast Guard. Commander Jack Eves, United States Navy. Mr. Jerome Epping, Jr., Department of State. Colonel David Gagich, United States Army. Lieutenant Colonel Jordan Wiesdon, United States Marine Corps. Lieutenant Colonel Patrick Piney, United States Marine Corps. Lieutenant Colonel Charles Hodges, United States Air Force. Colonel Brian Heisman, United States Marine Corps. Lieutenant Colonel Lars Jansen, Norwegian Army. Commander Anna Tafron, Royal Five Marine Corps. 
Lieutenant Colonel Sonny Gill, United States Army. Lieutenant Colonel Christopher Martinez, United States Air Force. Colonel Rausuke Matsuda, Japan Self-Defense Force. Colonel Frank Meese, United States Marine Corps. Commander Scott Benoyer, United States Navy. Lieutenant Colonel Douglas Pugh, United States Marine Corps. Lieutenant Colonel Sean Ryder, United States Marine Corps. Colonel Marietta Sanders, United States Air Force. Mr. Christopher Seville. Lieutenant Colonel Anton Summerall, United States Marine Corps. Colonel Alejandro Suarez, Brazilian Marine Corps. Colonel Margaret Sullivan, United States Space Force. Lieutenant Colonel Richard Wagner, United States Marine Corps. Miss Amber Warren, Defense Intelligence Agency. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates of Marine Corps War College. The School of Advanced Warfighting is directed by Colonel Greg Cole. SAW develops lead planners and future commanders with the will and intellect to design and execute joint campaigns and naval expeditionary operations. Graduates receive the Marine Corps University's Master of Operational Studies degree and are awarded the 0505 Operational Planning and 0506 Red Teaming Military Occupational Specialties. The students for academic year 2024 are Major Joe Albano, United States Marine Corps. Major Blaine Ballard, United States Marine Corps. Lieutenant Colonel Christopher Brown, United States Space Force. Lieutenant Colonel Jeff Castleton, Canadian Army. Major Marco Daga, Italian Army. Major Thomas Fiametta, United States Marine Corps. Lieutenant Colonel Brent Goddard, United States Marine Corps. Lieutenant Colonel Major Jeremy Goldstein, United States Marine Corps. Lieutenant Colonel Justin Gray, United States Marine Corps. Major Ian Hurtig, United States Army. Major Nicholas Huddleston, United States Marine Corps. Major Richard Majet, United States Marine Corps. Major Zachary Maldonado, United States Marine Corps. Major Christopher Marion, United States Marine Corps. Major Nicholas Meyer, United States Marine Corps. Major Timothy Ornelas, United States Marine Corps. Major Jeremiah Peter, United States Marine Corps. Major Case Hunter, United States Marine Corps. Major Ted Rose, United States Marine Corps. Major Matthew Scott, Australian Army. Major Brian Smith, United States Marine Corps. Lieutenant Commander Daniel Stepler, United States Coast Guard. Major Ryan Taylor, United States Air Force. 
Major Victor Tendring, United States Marine Corps. Major Mark Thomas, United States Army. <laughs> Lieutenant Colonel Joshua Waddell, United States Marine Corps. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates of the School of Advanced Warfighting. The Command and Staff College is directed by Colonel Andrew Winthrop. It provides the Marine Corps Intermediate Level Professional Military Education and the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff Joint Professional Military Education Phase 1 Program. Eligible graduates also receive the Marine Corps University's Master of Military Studies degree. The students for academic year 2024 are... Ladies and gentlemen, the students of Command and Staff College Conference Group 1. Major Anwar Abid Hamid, Malaysian Army Special Forces. Major John Andropoulos, United States Marine Corps, distinguished graduate. Lieutenant Colonel Jack Henry, United Kingdom Royal Marines, distinguished graduate. Major Daniel Baer, United States Air Force. Lieutenant Colonel Josh Benson, United States Marine Corps. Major Jordan Bertolio, United States Marine Corps. Major Josh Bookwalter, United States Marine Corps, distinguished graduate. Major Adam Crawford, United States Marine Corps. Lieutenant Commander Katarina Denton, United States Navy. Major Joe Fisher, United States Marine Corps. Mr. Nate Haley, Department of State. Major Rachel Harris, United States Space Force. Major Ed Maloney, United States Army. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates of Conference Group 1. Conference Group 2, Major Mark Deal, United States Marine Corps, and distinguished graduate. Major Dominic Delapel, United States Marine Corps. Major Rogelio Gonzalez, United States Marine Corps. Major Dale Bahadur Garon, Army, Nepal. Major Dave Hyde, United States Army. Major Matt Janiga, United States Marine Corps and distinguished graduate. Lieutenant Colonel Brad Jones, United States Marine Corps. Major Laura Larita, United States Marine Corps. Major Ben Soltis, United States Air Force. Lieutenant Colonel Remy Silvestre, Ecole de Guerre, France. Major Aaron Stabs, United States Marine Corps. And Mr. Mark Wasson, Deputy Commandant for Information, United States Marine Corps. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates of Conference Group 2, the Dukes. Conference Group 3, Major James Winston Agostino, United States Marine Corps. Major Paulina Mutano Ali, United States Air Force. 
Major Patrick Burns, 2nd, United States Marine Corps. Major Abigail St. John Governor, United States Army. Major Jane Jan M. Poole, Canadian Army Distinguished Graduate. Major Michael C. Marosia, United States Marine Corps. Major Robert Wee Martinson, United States Marine Corps, Distinguished Graduate. Mr. Sean Peterson, Department of State. Major Say We Who Are, United States Marine Corps. Major Ramanima S. Indian Army. Major Jorge Secadalovio, United States Marine Corps, Distinguished Graduate. Major James Peter Gerhard Steffen, United States Marine Corps. Lieutenant Commander Stanley Roger Boydington, United States Navy. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates from Fabulous Chief Degree. Conference Group 4, Major Jamal Akaroot, United States Marine Corps. Mrs. Jordan Maher, Mark IV Syscom, Distinguished Graduate. Major David Coleman, Australia, Distinguished Graduate. Major Boyd Crofton, United States Marine Corps. Lieutenant Commander Freeman Davenport IV, United States Navy. Major Lydia Fakes, United States Marine Corps. Major Timothy Hissom, United States Army. Major Robert Hamburger, United States Air Force. Major Daniel Kelly, United States Marine Corps. Lieutenant Colonel Dave Moberg, United States Marine Corps. Major George Prosser, Czech Republic. Major Mike Zagatello, United States Marine Corps. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates of Fantastic Conference Group 4. Conference Group 5, Major Matthew Altamari, United States Marine Corps. Major Cameron Barker, United States Marine Corps. Lieutenant Commander Tara Carney, United States Navy. Major John Donner, United States Marine Corps. Major Paul Hartfield, United States Army. Lieutenant Logan Kremer, United States Navy. Mr. Ogirene Mendoza, Defense Intelligence Agency. Commander Marco Nepomuchino, Brazilian Marine Corps, Distinguished Graduate. Major Kyle Olson, United States Marine Corps, Distinguished Graduate. Major Frank Rodella, United States Air Force. Major Jessica Ryan, United States Marine Corps, Distinguished Graduate. Major Stephen Schieser, Jr., United States Marine Corps. Lieutenant Colonel Kristen Stewart, Royal Marines, Distinguished Graduate. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates of Conference Group 5.
Falcon Script 6, Major Samantha Davies, United States Air Force. Commander Jose Gato, Argentina. Major Tyler Hockley, United States Marine Corps. Major Larry Persis, United States Marine Corps. Major Katrina Munchmore, United States Army. Lieutenant Commander Hans Willem Kostman, Netherlands Distinguished Graduate. Unable to attend today, Lieutenant Commander Werner Reschmeyer, United States Navy. Lieutenant Colonel Thomas Rigby, United States Marine Corps. Lieutenant Colonel Avery Traver, United States Marine Corps. Major Christopher Albright, United States Marine Corps. Major Daniel Vibaret, United States Marine Corps. Supervisory Special Agent David Walden, Diplomatic Security Service. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates of CG6. Public Group 7, Major Kevin Brady, United States Air Force. Major Jonathan Chavez, United States Marine Corps. Major Mike Clark, United States Marine Corps. Lieutenant Commander Chad Duncan, United States Navy. Major Kevin Evans, United States Air Force. Major Timothy Kirkpatrick, United States Marine Corps. Major Elalinter Lexono, Indonesia. <laughs> Lieutenant Commander Gianmarco Melcarn, Italy. Major Brian Pryor, United States Marine Corps, distinguished graduate. <laughs> Mr. Chris Riddell, United States Marine Corps, Systems Command. Major Kalen Ridgman, United States Army. Major Tyler Simmons, United States Marine Corps, distinguished graduate. Lieutenant Colonel Jacob Wickrick, United States Marine Corps. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates of Conference Group 7. Conference Group 8, Mr. Timothy Britton, NGA. Major Tingling Ting Chong, Singapore Distinguished Graduate. Major Corey Deaton, U.S. Army. Lieutenant Commander Tariq Kufal, Morocco. Lieutenant Commander Catherine Haynes, United States Navy. Major Ryan Hughes, United States Marine Corps. Major Ariel Ursic, United States Marine Corps. Major George Mardra, United States Marine Corps. Major Vince Margiota, United States Marine Corps, distinguished graduate. Major Vincent Miranda, United States Air Force. Major Matthew Knoll, United States Marine Corps, distinguished graduate. Major Matthew Sam, United States Marine Corps. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates of Conference Group 8. Conference Group 9, Special Agent Maria Amaya, Department of State, Diplomatic Security Services. Woo! Lieutenant Commander of the United States Navy. Major Marvin Diaz Escobar, United States Marine Corps. 
Major Patrick Duamont, United States Army, Distinguished Graduate. Major Tristan Hamburg, Norwegian Army. Major Gene Harg, United States Marine Corps, Distinguished Graduate. Major Christian Holman, United States Air Force. Lieutenant <laughs> Colonel John Jones, United States Marine Corps. <laughs> Major Christmas Money, United States Marine Corps. Major Hoonju Moon, Republic of Korea, Marine Corps. Major Ian Nitzel, United States Marine Corps. Major Francisco Petrie, United States Marine Corps, distinguished graduate. Major Benjamin Simonson, United States Army. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates of Commons Group 9. Conference Group 10, Major Mike Bianca, United States Marine Corps. Major Matt Evers, United States Marine Corps. Major Chipran Farkash, Romania. Major Jane Kutowski, United States Marine Corps Reserve. Mrs. Heather Larson, National Geospatial Intelligence Agency. Lieutenant Commander Jeff Ledford, United States Navy. Major Lopez Valencia, Colombia. Major Luke Mo McBride, United States Marine Corps, distinguished graduate. Major Dan Ryan, United States Air Force. Major Teresa Schumer, United States Army, National Guard. Major Jordan Barnes, United States Marine Corps. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates of Conference Group 10. Conference Group 11. Major Ali Alnawami, Bahrain World Guard. Major Rich Finney, United States Marine Corps. <laughs> Lieutenant Colonel Mike Breslin, United States Marine Corps, distinguished graduate. Major Jordan Cunningham, United States Marine Corps. Major Jackie Fisher, United States Marine Corps, distinguished graduate. Major Jesse Galt, United States Air Force. Major Travis Porter, United States Marine Corps. Mrs. Melissa Kerr, Marine Corps Capabilities Development and Integration. Major Lawrence Medina, Philippine Marine Corps. Major Brandon Pyle, United States Army. Major Matt Simpson, United States Marine Corps, Distinguished Graduate. Lieutenant Commander Klaus Olstad, United States Navy. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates of Conference Group 11. Major Seth Allen, United States Marine Corps. Major Corey Felton, United States Marine Corps. Major Samuel Jack, New Zealand Army, Distinguished Graduate. Major Jonathan Harris, United States Marine Corps, Distinguished Graduate. Major Georgie Yakovashvili, Georgian Special Forces. Major Marshall Jones, United States Marine Corps. 
Major, Major Samantha Kasperzak, United States Army Distinguished Graduate. Major John Loper, United States Air Force. Mr. William Stevens, Marine Corps Intelligence Activity. Unable to attend today, Lieutenant Commander John Wake, United States Navy. Major Lindsey Wilson, United States Space Force. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates of Conference Group 12. Conference Group 13, Lieutenant Colonel Mohammed El Smadi, Jordanian Army. Ms. Danielle Bash, U.S. Agency for International Development. Major Juan Lin Chan, Taiwan Marine Corps. Major Nicholas Crimes, United States Marine Corps. Major Joseph Griffin, United States Air Force. Major Theodore Kostich, Jr., United States Army. Major Nicole Miller, United States Marine Corps. Major Zach Pinkerton, United States Marine Corps, distinguished graduate. Major Alexander Polipko, United States Marine Corps, distinguished graduate. Major Jeffrey Robbins, United States Marine Corps, distinguished graduate. Booyah! Major Patrick Singh, United States Marine Corps. Lieutenant Commander Curtis Sharp, United States Navy. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates of Conference Group 13. Conference Group 14, Major Brian Adams, United States Marine Corps. Lieutenant Commander Jake Brantley, United States Coast Guard. Major Thomas Endicott, United States Marine Corps. Major Krista Farr, United States Air Force. Major Michael Hansen, United States Marine Corps, distinguished graduate. Major Alfredo Hernandez Castello, Mexico Infanteria de Marina. Lieutenant Colonel Yuhiro Kuma, Japan Ground Self Defense Force. Major Daniel May, United States Army. Lieutenant Commander Elise Milnick, United States Navy, distinguished graduate. Unable to be with us today, Major Jericho Shanklin, United States Marine Corps. Major Jeffrey Snyder, United States Marine Corps. Major Stephen Stansberry, United States Marine Corps. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates of Conference Group 14. Conference Group 15, Lieutenant Colonel Abdul al Janabi, United Arab Emirates, Joint Aviation Commander. Major Vince Alvarez, United States Marine Corps. Major Kevin Carrier, United States Marine Corps. Major Tim Chung, United States Marine Corps. Major Alice Crandall, United States Marine Corps. Distinguished graduate. 
Ms. Jen Carmen, U.S. Department of State. Major Sean Long, New York Air National Guard, distinguished graduate. Major Dave Feinhardt, United States Marine Corps. Lieutenant Commander John Potter, United States Navy. Commander Pramwan Srikant, Loyal Thai Marine Corps. Major Ryan Webster, United States Army Reserve. Major Taylor Westy, United States Marine Corps. And Major Kyle Roman, United States Marine Corps. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates of Conference Group 15. Conference Group 16, Major Robert Boyles, United States Marine Corps. Major Christian Cole, United States Marine Corps, distinguished graduate. Major Jason Cooper, United States Army. Major Andrew Corley, United States Marine Corps. Not present today, Major Perry Duncan, United States Marine Corps. Major Thomas Fields, United States Marine Corps. Major Maggie Jones, United States Marine Corps. Major Jason Link, United States Army, distinguished graduate. Major Adit Negrovo, Indonesian Marine Corps. Major Mauro Nariso, Italian Army, distinguished graduate. Major Jonathan Stein, Michigan Air National Guard. Lieutenant Commander Ali Bisher, United States Navy. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates of Conference Group 16. The Command and Staff College Distance Education Program is sponsored by the College of Distance Education and Training, which is directed by Mr. Terry Kerrigan. The Command and Staff College Distance Education Program is the university's non-resident, intermediate level, joint professional, military education, phase one accredited curriculum. The students for academic year 2024 are Major Mitre Bogdanov, North Macedonian Army. Lieutenant Colonel Dragan Kokovsky, North Macedonian Army. Major Taylor Couch, United States Marine Corps Reserve, Distinguished Graduate. Captain Yuritsa Drasic, Croatian Army. Major Boris Duimich, Croatian Army. <laughs> Lieutenant Colonel Goran Kimov, North Macedonian Army. Major James Kohler, United States Marine Corps, distinguished graduate. Major Becca Metrovelli, Georgian Army, distinguished graduate.
Major Jonas Nicholas, United States Marine Corps. Major Carlisle Page Jr., United States Marine Corps. Captain Joseph Pasifino, United States Marine Corps Reserve. Lieutenant Colonel LDO, Richard Reigns, United States Marine Corps. Lieutenant Colonel Leo Romero, United States Air Force Reserve. Major Cynthia Sieben, United States Marine Corps, Distinguished Graduate. Major Zachary Snively, United States Marine Corps. Major John Steele, United States Marine Corps Reserve. Major Bordana Wise, United States Air Force Reserve. Chief Warner, Warrant Officer 4, Joshua Warlander, United States Marine Corps. Major Damali Brin, United States Marine Corps. Major Megan Burke, United States Air Force. Major Michael Brook, United States Marine Corps. Major Shannon Kelly, United States Marine Corps. Mrs. Mary Beth Knight, United States Air Force. Major Jeffrey Meckleburn, United States Marine Corps Reserve. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates of the Command and Staff College Distance Education Program. We will conclude today's activities with final remarks by the President, Marine Corps University. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your participation today. And please, one more round of applause, both for our gradu graduates as well as our distinguished staff. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being here. We truly appreciate it. Please stay safe and best on your travels. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the playing of our service hymns and remain standing for the departure of the official party, recession of the faculty, and departure of our distinguished guests.